my name is Christine and I am sharing this mini album project that I've done. I made this with some paper that I got at Hobby Lobby. It's called a uh, bee floral paper. It has foil accents all over it. And when I bought the paper, there was no ephemera or die cuts available. So what I did was I was able to find a Stickabilities sticker pack and a planner, 12 month planner, which had like stuff that I could use for journaling cards and whatnot. It will hold four by six pictures, three and a half by fives, and five by sevens. So let's dig into the album. So on the cover, I did took some uh, gold foil paper, and I like using uh, natural wood grains with the sticker paper or the paper. Let's see, this is the spine. The spine measures three and a half inches wide. And the back is just quite plain. I held it closed, give it some, some room to grow with photos. And I had some bee charms that I used and just put them all on a chain. So the cover here has a little insert, picture insert. And what you can also do as a little hidden pocket for additional picture. And there's also a hidden little area there held together with a magnet. So let's see, here we have a little charm, little bee charm. This is an expanding pocket, which is holding several, uh, this is a journaling card, picture card. Oh, this is a little booklet. And another little booklet. So our first page here, this is held on with magnets and comes off. So we can see this will hold a four by six photo. And it's loose here to tuck. You can tuck a photo in there. Also has a little photo mat, some journaling. Again, this will hold a four by six photo. Buzzworthy. And these open this way. And here I have a 5x7. This will hold a 5x7 photo. And it's... This 
will hold a three and a half by five standard size photo. And this is just a little, little booklet. This was one of the calendar pages in the planner. And this will hold a four by six photo. Well, on the left here, we have a waterfall. It's kind of a different waterfall. It's a pocket waterfall. Again, this was one of the calendar dividers in the planner. And on the left, we'll hold a four by six, and on the right, we'll hold a three and a half by five. There's a little tuck spot there. So all of them are the same, but different. And again, a little tuck spot. A uh, little tuck spot. So cute. And here we just have some random things from the sticker pack. And this flips up and holds a little booklet. This slides to the right. You can open up to the left and this will hold four by six photos, either here or there. And slide all the way to the right. You can, there we go. Again, four by six photos. And on the front, We have a frame, which it will hold a four by six photo. It's just kind of a tight fit. And then this opens up and this is a five by seven with cutouts to hold your picture. Just a little belly band there. And then this is just a little cutesy. A couple more. Buzzworthy. <laughs> it's so cute. And here these were from the sticker pack. And then this is just a little photo mat. And this will hold a 4x6. And in here we have Be Brave. This was another calendar marker. A little tuck spot there. And this will hold a 4x6 photo. Then it's loose behind there. You can tuck it behind. Cute. And here, this is loose behind there if you wanted to tuck anything behind there. And this will hold a 4x6 photo. Or if you want to put something else on the left there, these are loose. Again, 4x6 photo on the left. This was one of the stickers in the sticker pack. As was this. 
I just backed it with some black cardstock. And this will hold a three and a half by five inch photo. As will this one. It's the same. And here we have this will hold a five by seven. Four by six. And this is just a little booklet. As in this is just a little photo mat. So here we have just some little things from the sticker pack. Thought they were cute. There's another little photo mat. Photo mat with some journaling space. This is a vertical photo mat and journal card. And this will hold a three and a half by five. And this opens to the left, which will hold a four by six. And this is loose on both sides. So you can put a three by four here and here. And the same over here. And we have the same here. We'll hold the four by six, tuck under the middle, or a three by four. Here we have a waterfall, which you can have a four by six here and a three and a half by five here. And this will hold a three and a half by five comfortably. And then behind there, we have a little booklet. For journaling, pictures, whatever your heart desires. It's cute. Then we have another of the month dividers. And again, this will hold a four by six. So here we have, these are loose. You can tuck something behind them if you wish. We have a little photo mat with some journaling space. And these fold down like so. Lots of space for a picture. This will hold a four by six. And beneath here is a little pocket. Another calendar month card divider. And this is loose here. You can tuck something in there. Another little booklet, pictures, journaling. It's open for whatever you want to do. And this opens this way with a little pop-up. So I left these blank so you could put a four by six photo on there. I wanted to keep the bulk down. And then this opens like this. And it will take a 4x6 photo. And then we have a couple of photo mat cards. 
And this opens one more. And then here we have this cute little beaded handle for a little box to keep all the little extras in. It, it does have a band you can hold some photos with. And there's a little hidden pocket here. Yeah, I thought this was really cute. So that is, oh, and a little hidden photo mat. Surprise. In addition, there's a, another hidden photo mat. That is 